Hey, my lovelies. I'm back with another intuitive time with Newbie, y'all. Okay. So we're just gonna get it cracking. I was gonna do this reading yesterday or sometime this week, but the way my week was set up, yeah. Yeah, it just wasn't like. Mm -mm. And I was, it didn't have like the best attitude either, so it was just, just was not working. Okay, um, I do a lot of going to work, so I'm gonna try to get this out the best as I can. It is Tuesday, December 14th at 10 46, which would be 10 10 because we know that six plus four is 10. Okay, so tap into it, y'all. Period. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now that we have that energy going in here, um, today I decided that I wanted to burn pine needle because it said that this is for strength and um, protection. And also, we're in the month of December. We're at the end of the the year and everything. And we need all of that strength. And, ooh, this smells good. I usually don't even like pine needles. But, mm. Yes, I'm just spraying some of that together. Yes. Mm, this smells so good. Uber, Uber. I'm going to have to order from them again. I got this off of Amazon. It came in a bundle pack with, like, six or seven different ones is going to pop my chakra so i can get help and this is for the collective okay for the mid-december reading um as i was doing my meditation and getting my downloads and everything from over this week and this morning um i'm probably going to name this reading um yeah chances make champions and that's because like a lot of stuff that i've been seeing even going through it myself um if you're codependent or have codependent issues or a lot of self doubt or lack mentality or anything negative that's self-inflicting you're no longer going to be in that state of mind. People and stuff that don't serve you is no longer going to be a problem to you anymore. Like, you're going to be so far away from them in your own, like, where you need to be because you're on the right path. Um, I'm getting that you having a rebirth, a second chance. Like, I told y'all in my last reading, like, like a week ago or something like that, like, I just threw up so much and then I woke up the next day like a whole bunch of stuff was just different. You guys are probably going through that too. Um, so just pay attention to your life cycle. Pay attention to um, things that may have happened in the past and if they're coming back up, the things that you're getting second chances with. This is um, opportunities um, with family issues or um, generational curses this can be with um, people places things like anything that might be getting brought up that you felt like you missed out on pay attention to those type of things coming up okay because um that can make or break your cycle for next year because everybody does have free will okay I just want to get like a torch lighter. These damn sticks and shit be so thick. I don't be trying to get out my lighter. <laughs> yeah. And I like to do head to feet because I like to make sure that all my chakras are, you know, prepared for you guys. Mind, body, and spirit, okay? If you're new to my channel, I do some of everything on my channel. This is the Melanation Gang. Okay, this is the time with Newbie. Again. 
I do not do any private readings at the moment. Um, because I do have a lot on my plate. I just do collective readings. I do divine masculine, divine feminine, karmic readings. And um, I do readings on um, topics like narcissism, generational curse, um, ancestral messages, things like that. I don't do any zodiac messages. Okay, so um, if things go different later on down the road, I probably will start doing those type of things. But as of right now, I'm not doing any of those things. Just what you see is what you're getting for right now, okay? So sorry for the inconvenience if you do rock with my channel like that, but I have a lot going on. Don't be afraid to go search and look around. Find something that you like. Before I get into the rest of these messages, we're going to go into the prayer. Y'all already know my favorite prayer is the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And that's all. Period. Okay. So I got my little notes. Because y'all know me. I be smoking and it be so many like downloads and all this in my head, not hanging up now. Also, like I said, I have bought a whole bunch of incense. This is the jasmine one, and it smells so good. When I say this smells so good. Ooh, it smells so good. And this is the brand. I don't know if like y'all markets and stuff sell this brand. Um, or like if y'all got like those like spiritual type shops or something like that, they might sell them there. Um, I got mine from a market, so uh, so they retail for about like three fifty a pack, and you get ten of them in there. But they smell so uber amazing, like, and I got probably like this instant so small, but like, yeah, this one. Also, I have some healing music on in the background for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so even with the throwing up thing, and like I say, y'all getting second chances on things and stuff like that. I was getting um, time travel. Again, people, places, things, opportunities and stuff are coming back up. You might have been like, damn, I wish I could go back to this date or I wish things were back like this so I can do things a little bit differently. Or you might have been in spirit and, you know what I'm saying, whoever um, you might be working with. They hear you, and they're going to grant it to you. Um, your due diligence that you might have been doing, you know what I'm saying, is leading to these things. So if you're getting, like, a little bit sick, but you're not sick or um, have any type of illness that you know about that will be making you throw up just out of nowhere, um, then maybe you are going through a transformation of rebirthing and time traveling, and you're not really aware of your powers or... You're not paying attention to the messages that they're telling you that this is what the fuck is going on. So <laughs> they're using me to come tell you that this is what the fuck is going on. Okay. All right. Um, well, so, because this might be all over the place, but um, I kept seeing birds. Like, I'll be online shopping for stuff, or um, I just kept getting visions, like, or dreaming and I don't know if this is for a particular me or you but this one particular bird it did say that um they like to share their journey so again um y'all part of my soul tribe I'm trying to find my soul tribe and things like that so the birds that I was seeing was pelicans and flamingos it's fucking December like why the fuck am I seeing pelicans and flamingos okay so i was like hmm i had a you know you know i'm a spiritual being having a human experience just like everybody else i'm like damn let me go look this up then it's like other little tropical birds and stuff like that like art projects that i had did like a long time ago stuff like that 
was popping up. And I'm just like, what the fuck is all these damn tropical ass birds like just popping up? And when I went to go look up pelicans, you can do your own research as well. I got, um, they represent, first off, it's black, white, and yellow. If you know anything about the cult and um, colors, or just like the um, different systems and beliefs of colors, you might want to go do your research on colors. The colors black, white, yellow, or bright colors like pink and red and stuff like that, okay? But in particular, black, white, and yellow. Because all of these birds, even the tropical ones, they have some type of hint of black, white, or yellow on them. Per period, like hands down. Okay, so... Um, the pelican represents savor the moments, teamwork, um, and reflecting inwards. Okay, and again, like they said, they said that this person likes to share their spiritual journey. They represent um miracles, abundance, um, they represent balance, they represent surprises, like I said, miracles and stuff like that. So be paying attention because like I said, you might have been wishing. And if you're seeing these tropical birds and you know that you're in the middle of December, you might want to go look up these tropical birds that you're seeing. Um, also with the flamingos, pink. We also we already know what the um color pink represents, you know, as far as romance and femininity and you know, just being in that energy, happiness, joy, romance, success, calm, you know sexual seductive you know but like in a calm pleasant way you know what i'm saying so if you're seeing flamingos just know that you're like in a safe place or you're about to be getting moved to a safe place where you can let your hair down and you don't have to be afraid to be happy you don't have to be afraid to put on a smile you don't have to dim your light so other motherfuckers can feel better about themselves you know what i'm saying um so yeah again oh and then i got stop indulging so whatever that you're indulging in um, whether it's fast food, too much smoking, too much drinking, too much sex, too much of anything is bad for you. So it says to stop indulging. Your body has been reset. So you have to treat your body like it never had anything before. Like you're a baby all over again. And you have to try to see what your body agrees and don't agree with. Okay. Um. Not wanting or having same urges. Um, and yeah. Okay, so not wanting or having the same urges, like I said, rebirth. And then it's telling me to work with the color red. You need to work out your root chakra. Some of you guys' root chakra is blocked. So you either need to like eat red food, work with the color red, wear some type of um, red pendant or something, keep something red in your purse or pocket. Um, you know, bring out that energy, you know what I'm saying? Look up the color red, see things that might work for you because everybody works better with different type of things, okay? I'm not going to get too into that. It, your journey is your journey. Um, once you do this, um, you'll be highly in tune. It'll open up more windows and doors. Um, also, Spirit told me to tell you guys to do um, an abundance boil. Some of you guys might know it by a money boil. Um, it's a lot of different recipes. Most of them have like the same base ingredients. Some people tweak it to their own and put different, some like extra different things in there. But again, like I said, everybody's journey is a little bit different, but look into that. Also, Spare wanted me to tell you to buy a multicolored journal. Like it doesn't have to be like abstract like this or nothing, but they do want you to have like a journal that you can write in every day. 
It doesn't matter how many times a day, as long as you just write in every day, or if you skip a day, make up for them days that you skip. You know what I'm saying? And they wanted to have all the colors on there because this represents all. And we're trying to go into balance. You know what I'm saying? So you need something that represents all, not just something that's just one solid color, okay? Like your notebooks, that's like for research and stuff like that. Um, you can put in there. But like your daily affirmation, your like goals, um, once you get certain downloads and confirmation of those downloads about yourself um, or after going up through your notebooks and your research, you need to put those main things in here. Um, things like that. Um, spell work that you might have done that has already been accomplished and it really actually works. You might want to put this in here or get two of these so that way you can have like a shadow book and then like your goal affirmation, um, gratitude book or whatever. I know I have different books for different things, but we just gonna get into it. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that. Cause I wanna get into y'all reading. And again, I gotta go to work. I'm supposed to work at 12. It's just now 11 up too. Ooh, 13. Four, stability. Okay. Stop playing with me. Um, also, they told me to tell you guys, it's robbing season, so stay protected. I kept getting this VFN Lucci card kept popping out at me as I was trying to get, um, situated and stuff like that um also it was like a couple robberies here in my city um so again it's robbing season so stay protected even if it's not a physically like robbing you 3d like people are trying to rob you of your time your talents your intelligence like it's different things in different ways people can rob you so don't be close-minded and just hear the words, like, actually intake the words of what I'm saying to you guys, okay? Communication is more than just verbal. Benny Siegel, fill in the air. That's my shit. Go listen to it, okay? He telling y'all statistics in that motherfucking song, period. <laughs> okay? Um... In game tiny you need all of your strength. Um, regain your power. Go within. Be celibate and turn your pain into passion. You gonna kill them. Ask for help. When Good afternoon, Capital City. Not residents. Okay. You live on the fourth floor. Do not leave your side the trash room. Oh my God, sorry y'all. That's part of living in a trap. They come over the intercom, but yes, that was just confirmation like on the loudspeaker, like I just said, in game announcing announcement in game pine needles. You need all of your strength, regain your power, go within, be celibate, and turn your pain into passion. You won't kill them, ask for help when not confident. Period. Okay, y'all. Oh, mother effing cat. And also, when I got my little smudge kit, it came with like a book about smudging and stuff like that. So, if you're new to smudging and you order something on Amazon, like they should come with books like this to tell you how to do stuff, okay? Um, and they tell you, um, also, like, little herbs and stuff like that on the side that some people might use or you might have on hand for if you don't have a big thing. You can always put it in, like, a, um, you know, it's like something like this and burn it still. And get, like, one of those torch lighters and burn it. It's a nice prop now. Oop. Okay. Well, we're going to be using our wand. Period. Talk to me. Don't tell me nice. <laughs> now we got our aloe vera plant. It just keep leaning back here in the window. But sh she's here. Okay. 
It was only real like that. We have some juniper berry. Do your research. This is really good for healing properties. Okay. I'm in tune. It's the color purple. The crown chakra. You know what I'm saying? Do research on your chakras, you guys. Work with your colors and get those blockages unblocked before the year ends because you're going to be... They trying to prepare you for something, okay? We also got African Shea Butter. Okay, you gonna be fine as wine. You don't need all that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? You might be extra as fuck anyways just because you don't need all that extra shit and you still a bomb. You feel me? So, make sure that skin is hydrated, looking good, looking fine. Okay. And that's on period. <sighs> I'm just gonna take some white sage and sage the cards before I start. Spirit, ancestors, gods and goddesses of this soul tribe and those who are going to be coming to watch this video. What messages do they need to know for mid-December? Why are they seeing pelicans and tropical birds? What is the end game? Okay. What do they need to know about this rebirth? We want messages for mid-December. Okay, what does my divine masculine and my divine feminine need to know? What does the collective need to know? Okay, we want all topics. Let us know all topics, okay? We need to be prepared for 2022. Yes, 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 let's get it. Y'all already know how I do my spread lately. We're going to do a board read first, and then we're going to clarify the um, header board read, and then we um, end it out with two clarification cards, okay? So it's going to be a six-card spread. Um, the headboard spread, I never know how many cards that's going to be, just however many comes out. Um, but for sure, the actual spread of the board is six cards, and then two clarification cards right. if you hear the shower running again like I said I do look in the chest a little bit caught up her and I got this window open because I'm burning all this sage and incense and shit so bear with me hopefully it's not too loud <sighs> Okay. And again, this is today's tea that I've been drinking. I didn't do all that extra stuff that I normally do because I've been going too hard on the bee pollen. So I was like, let me chill out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. Look up bee pollen too for manifestation because it works. Also, when I was trying to get ready for your, um, it says, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. This fell out of my own. Um, crystal bowl y'all y'all know i got my little crystal bowl up here but yes i normally keep it in here and it just fell out today so i'm just like okay maybe they wanted me to tell y'all don't be afraid to push yourself out there like again y'all have opportunities and stuff that are coming back around you're getting second chances and stuff like that you're blooming like a flower you don't have haters women haters okay sour face motherfuckers again i got uh, um, reading on here that was talking about that. Get this sage up. But yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. We 24 minutes in. We don't need to pop it. And again, we got on the top 163, 10. <laughs> Chakras get balanced. 
okay i'm sorry that you're probably not gonna be able to see all the cards that's gonna be laid out on this board however we're gonna make it do what it do i'm actually well, we're just gonna put this up as the header right here and then i'm still gonna pick a different top card because i don't wanna so you already know that right i just split the deck that i made um, I really haven't been adding no cards lately. I probably work on some cards when I go to work today. Because, um, again, I think I'm like 30 cards or something away from having a deck of over like 300 and some cards. Even though that number might come out that's over that already. Um, I shuffle my cards. And when I'm adding them to the deck, I channel which cards to put in my deck. And I take a certain number and I'll fill them out and then I'll put the rest back up. That's how I get these messages. Even with the um, parts of the song that I take, I channel all of that part as well of which parts to take. Because as you see, like some of them, it's not all the lyrics. Or it might be like a bunch of other shit on the card with it. Ooh, what is the collective need to know? Okay, okay. Okay, fuck it, I'll take it. This came out in a reverse. This came out up and down. This came out up and down like this. This came up in the upright, and this came out in the reverse. Okay. I never read a card like that. So, I'm guessing, like, whatever you're going up against is going to be straight up and down. And it's crazy because this card equals a 10, too. This is 181. So, it's no matter how you flip it, dice it, whatever. It is, is what it is. This is probably... Um, Something that you go through all the time. It says sinful pillow talking. Battle of the karmics. There's some truth in those lies. So they're telling you straight up and down. There is some truth in those lies. 181 equaling a 10. 163 equaling a 10. When we started the reading, it was a 10. Okay. So again, you have some lemon face ass bitches because you're blooming. Your, your crop is starting to bloom. But even as you're elevating up and you're starting to date better and eat better, so you're going to still run into challenges with that. Okay? And just always remember there's going to be some truth in the lies. Also, we're reflecting back on things that have already happened. Take those lessons, learn from it, turn the pain into passion, manifest what you need to manifest. That way, your second chance is not in vain because chances make champions, period. Then we got 25 Reasons Nivea, 235. 10 again. 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2, 10. I can't make this shit up. Can you make it up? Then we got 79, 16, which is 7. And again, I've been seeing a lot of 7s too. Whatever number you've been seeing, go ahead and tap it and channel what you've been seeing, okay? Your spirit is trying to um, communicate with you. And I'm just trying to, I'm going to keep checking this um, camera to make sure it doesn't go off. Because last time it told me when it went off. I just want to make sure. Okay, it says, your smile, don't have to say no more. You got it to know the things you show me. The way you look at me when you say I love you. Your headstrong personality, your take charge capability. I love the way you cook for me. The um, roses massage cards, you give no reason at all. The way you spend on me. Um, though I got my own money for always being yourself, regardless of I or anyone else. All those chicks that could have cheated, but you didn't because of your love for me. Okay. 
y'all know me i don't ever take these musics like these r&b and rap artists rap about as in they're talking about an actual woman or a man so again i'm thinking that this is um spirit talking to you They're in love with your smile. They're in love with, even though you be having a hard time with stuff, like, you might complain, you might eat, like, but you do it in a healthy way. You complain in a way to strategize. You don't just complain just sit there and pout. Like, you complain, like, you want to, like, get shit done, like, you're trying to envision, and, like, you might be in a crap bucket type of situation, and God is going to be moving you from that, because, again, you're in a battle, Okay, that's why you need all this balance. And yo, haters and them, like I said, with that pelican and them flamingos and them tropical birds, them, them folks about to be mad. And they probably looking at like the way you take care of yourself. You probably are really up on your self care. You probably do have an altar. You probably like fresh flowers and stuff in your house. When you're doing certain stuff around your house. You're not only doing it for you, you're doing it for spirit. Okay? Also, um, get you some ancestor money or something like that. Because it says, I love the way you spend on me even though you got your own money. Or you might be saying affirmations like whatever you spend, you get back times 10. Or um, you don't work for your money, your money works for you. Or... You know what I'm saying? You keep saying affirmations of abundance and certain things like that. So that is a form of currency for your um your guys and stuff like that, okay? Especially if you're burning stuff using fire magic. You see, there it go. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, like if you're using like a lot of fire magic or something, or when you cook. You might like save like a little portion that might look like a real plate for somebody or something and leave it out overnight or in a microwave or something. Spirit still takes that initiative as you're leaving that out for them. You're buying these flowers for them. You're romancing them. When they see you with your jewelry on that's not like everybody else's, but you're rocking your spiritual jewelry or spiritual animals on your clothing and stuff like that, they love that shit. They love the fact that you're not like everybody else. Or you might do some of the trends. Because you know what I'm saying? You're a human person having... No, you're a spiritual person having a human experience. But your your way of doing it is always going to be a little bit quirky. It's going to have like a little bit of quirkiness to it. You feel me? Nicki Minaj, Pills and Potions. Okay, so I feel like this card is the realms of yourself. Remember, you're in a battle. You're not only in a battle with other people, you're in a battle with yourself now, okay? Because remember, you got to make sure that you, you balance to motherfucking get this shit that you need, right? So it says pills and potions. And when I'm looking at this potion, I keep seeing Patron. So you might... I was like in my... I'll say my early 20s when I start like realizing, like when I go to the liquor store, that it said spirits and stuff on the liquors. And I went through a phase of alcoholism and stuff like that. I don't be trying to make these readings about me, but it might help somebody, okay? And I would notice, like, how many people like, I can't drink this because it made me like this. Blah, blah, blah. I would notice, like, sir, like which ones, may, like, you know what I'm saying? You just notice your whole demeanor when you drink different alcohol and stuff like that. So I started doing research and start learning and intake the information the way my brain processes the information. So maybe certain liquor y'all don't need to be drinking. Maybe certain medications y'all don't need to be taking. Um, everybody's DNA is made up different. And then on top of the fact that it's so much knowledge hidden from everybody. And we're not even really the species and stuff that they tell us that we are. 
and um, religions and stuff that we really are, it's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? So your higher self and your lower self is going through a battle, right? And then if you're spiritual, you, you're still getting like all these other downloads from like your guides, right? Then it's like you got all this other outside influence, right? Then you have like the internet influence. So it's like a constant criticize. Don't do that. Get this fucking journal and do your affirmation so that way that won't affect your reality. Okay? Okay. But this it wasn't in regards, but I'm gonna read it. It says pills of potion, Nicki Minaj. We're overdosing. I'm angry. But I still love you. I can never hate you, even if you were out here being distasteful. Um, I'm going to keep it classy and graceful. Ain't no friends in the game. You ain't learned that yet. I told them. Won't respect, but you ain't earned that yet. Self-righteous, entitled, swearing on the Bible. You looking ungrateful. All them bridges you came over don't burn yet. I don't wish death on them. I just reflect on them. People will love you and support you when it's beneficial. I forgive but won't forget, but I'm a dead the issue. Okay? When you gone, miss you. Living lavish. What? It say something. Living lavish. Something to wish or switch. Some shit. I don't know what the fuck I wrote there. I don't even know. Maybe it comes to me later. But if y'all know this one, Pills and Potions, y'all know the lyrics. So again, crab bucket mentality is around you. You're not about to be around it no more. People will love you but support you when it's beneficial. I'll forgive but not forget, so I'm a dead the issue. You having these second chances. You seen how people moved and was doing the first go round. So the second go round, don't let it be like that. Because God's been testing you. And just as quick as you can have something, just as quick as you can lose it. The energy that you be around can snatch that shit from you. Because they're taking your power. When giving these people your energy and your sexual energy, especially, like, you're giving these people your power. Be celibate. Turn that into your power. And that's all about your period. Okay, so this spread is a little, going a little bit different. Okay. What messages do my collective need to know? What messages does my collective need to know? What message is this important to me? It is starting to get in here. I don't need to turn that shower off. They said do some water magic, y'all. Maybe when y'all get in the shower in the morning, say some affirmations or do some type of water magic in the shower. Google, like, water magic. For a heart sideways. I feel like you're going to be surrounded by love. It's going to be stable. You know, we keep getting these damn fours, y'all. Can you clarify this four for me, Spirit? What do we need to know about this four hearts? What do we need to know about this four hearts? What do we know about these four hearts? And yes, I am a different type of reader. If this is not your type of judge, then this is just not for you. And also, all my readings are timeless. So, me run into this message, this is going to be when it's time for you to get your message, okay? Clarify this four of hearts. Use a different deck, okay? Ooh. Yeah. 
I'm just doing whisper. It's on me with it, y'all. So if y'all hear me like mumble to myself, don't hit me. Please clarify this for us. Please clarify this for us. Please clarify this for us. So what card is about to go right here? I don't know what kind of stone this is, y'all, but I am working with the Love Oracle right now, and this stone just fell out. I'm going to grab it in a second after y'all card come out, okay? Spirit can you clarify this for our hearts, please? Can you clarify this for our hearts, please? Can you clarify this for our hearts? Flirt in the reverse. Bottom of the deck. Attraction in the reverse. Children. So. This is how this came out. We have flirt in the reverse. I'm sorry, he's black. Is a select hieroglyphic? You need to see this. It's very light. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, so yeah, we got flirt in the reverse. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's telling me to still line up how I had it lined up, so that's what I'm gonna do. Then we got attraction in the reverse. Your attraction, no, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Like I said, the birds is telling you to enjoy the moment, live in the moment. Teamwork. If somebody's flirting with you, flirt back. If somebody's being nice to you, be nice back. If somebody's um helping you out with things, help that person back. Because that's how karma works. That's how you're going to get this cycle of full love. That's how you're going to be able to have genuineness around you by being genuine with others. Okay, then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, y'all know in my last read, some y'all is birthing something. Some of y'all might be having twins. Some of y'all might be finding out y'all pregnant. Um, it was a lot of feminine energy in that reading, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, a lot of feminine energy in that reading. This is a stone that came out. It's like a... It's light. It's light. It's light. Or, uh, okay, maybe you let me just sit up. But, but it's like a light. It's not a rose quartz for sure. I know it's not rose quartz, but it's like this like tannish, but it's like marbly, like like how a rose quartz would be. You feel me? So you got a book of crystals or something like that. Maybe you'd be working with these crystals to help you um, open up with attraction and flirting. Uh, you might want to put um, crystals in your bath when you're taking a bath or have them around the tub with you. I know that some people practice putting um, these like in their bra and in their underwear and stuff like that. You know, men... You can put this like in your car, stuff like that. You feel me? Move that right there. Also, I see a lot of green on these cards. Um, that's that heart chakra. Again, you're bringing in that 
that loving energy grounded energy planet energy bottom of the deck wedding card because you're going to be having that genuine love you might be running into the person that you're going to marry and y'all don't mean y'all going to get married right away but you might be running into that person okay Let the collective need to know. What does the collective need to know? Can we clarify? The flirt, attraction, and children card. Can you clarify these cards for me? What else does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I got the four in reverse under children. So maybe your blessings are coming from the 5D to the 4D, which would be pregnancy. So that way that um, they can come into the 3D. Because these are in the reverse, like they're coming in, they're coming, like your blessings and wishes is coming down. Okay. You can clarify this attraction card. I just seen five green and upright. Right, let's see if it comes back out. What else do I need to know about this attraction card? What else do I need to know about this attraction card? Ooh. Damn. What else do I need to know about this attraction card? Seven in reverse. You're tracking in something lucky. I've seen the five green in reverse, and then I've seen. This. Well, I seen five green in the upright, and I seen seven green came out for attraction. So yeah, whatever you're attracting is gonna be good for you. It's gonna be you're attracting it out of the heart chakra, out of genuineness. So it's gonna be long term. That's why you're gonna be surrounded by whatever this is. You probably put in a lot of due diligence with this type of stuff, or whatever that it is that you're birthing or working on. And it's here you're attracting it. <laughs> you lucky. Can you clarify this flirt card? Spirit, can you collect this flirt card? <laughs> One in the reverse. <laughs> okay. And then two in reverse at the bottom of the deck blue. Okay. So, yes. Yellow. That's the gut. <laughs> so... There's only one person out here that's really made for you. It's only that one person that's going to be able to get this baby out of you or whatever it is. And being that the two came out after that and I had the wedding card at the bottom of the deck, this is going to be true love. You guys are going to be equally yoked. Okay. And it's going to be divinely guided, okay? Because period. Because period. Yeah. You're rooted. This is rooted. Dang, this tried to pop out to right out behind it. Yeah. This is rooted. You're getting that second chance. You got two wild cards. You got a blank wild card, and then you got a wild card full of opportunities. Then you root it. You, you manifesting this out of your root chakra. You went within and got them chakras balanced. Okay. So you can manifest all new shit. You can fucking manifest the same stuff that you wanted, but you're getting a second chance on it. However you want it. Like, they like here. Like, the world is your oyster. Like I said, make sure that you're working with that root chakra. 
Make sure you doing self love and go research the color red and stuff, okay? Because that was just confirmation, right? There, and that's on the period. All right, let's motherfucking get all the way up in this. I'm gonna take the other half of the deck. You got a big lighter on top, beat box. I want everything like hot sauce, so don't act like I've been that bitch since I popped off. Show him the end of the road. Ain't about to turn on boys into men. Who this bitch think she is? I'm pulling triggers, not no wigs. Big lotto, okay? 43, 7, 7, 7, yes, okay? Period. You in that thing, baby. You about to pop off. Like, it's just going to be known. It's just going to be globally known. These people that sleeping on you and trying to be crab-like mentality. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all can think it's cute for right now, but guess what? Me and my collective, too. We got this stuff. Y'all asses. All 2022. Even when y'all think we ain't stunting or doing nothing, best believe it's, it's some shit going on behind the scenes. So, again, you gotta have that confidence. Ask for that help when you don't have that confidence. That's why that shit came out. You need to record the reading, go back and record. I mean, go back to the beginning of the reading, but yeah. Oh no, spirit. We are not doing that. Not today. That's too many cards. We're gonna do them. I see two more cards for the side of the board. Give me two cards that collectively need to know. That's straight up and down as well. What else does the collective need to know? Give me another message that the collective needs to know. Give me another message that the collective needs to know. Give me another message that the collective needs to know for mid-December 2021. Give me another message that the collective needs to know for mid-December 2021. <laughs> okay, that's they always fucking do this shit to me. They always give me the whole board just up front. They don't give no fuck. They just be like, bitch, here's the whole board, and then we're going to clarify. Because if not, we're going to be here all day with your big emotional cancer ass. <laughs> okay, so now that my whole board is out. And then I got Karma Lloyd Bang. At the bottom of the deck. So let's go through these first. So I said, what else do y'all need to know? We got 303. Funny how times pass when you're having fun. Straight up and down. Janet Jackson. You might come from a family. They got like a lot of siblings. Or like your parents and stuff. Wanted you to be a certain way. But you got your own talents and stuff that you want. And maybe this go around. You're able to do certain things a little bit different. You could be very, very pretty, like the Jacksons and stuff. You could have, like, certain attributes about yourself. You could be musically inclined, very, very talented. Um, I just heard, I don't work a job, but I am a job. <laughs> okay? Like, the years to come is going to be turning around for you, okay? You're going to be able to um, do the entrepreneurial things that you want to do or the things that you thought that you would never be making money off of. You're going to be able to um, have some type of abundance off of that. Spirit might come see you with downloads or something of a vision. You might be like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't about to try that. But then you try it and it just blow up out of fucking nowhere. Or you, you might be the type of person like you want to do stuff and then like somebody do it before you. You don't want to do it no more. Because I know I'm like that with a lot of stuff. But God, like, but again, it's like not only one person does something. Or maybe these people are spread. It's only so many people that's doing that type of thing in certain atmospheres or um, locations of the world. So maybe you might be a due diligence to that. And then we got the 303. So again... This is something that's going to be globally known, 
okay? This is going to be something that's going to keep, you know, consistent. No matter how you flip it, dice it, whatever. These, When I see these numbers like this repeating, that's what the fuck that means. Funny how times pass when you're having fun. Then I got juvenile. <laughs> In the upright, 253.10, okay? Again, this whole board, I've been seeing a lot of 10s. We got like a lot of orange. That's purging. We got some yellows and golds. That's that gut. Okay, I got a lot of green. That's that heart chakra. We got some true blue. We got some world cards. We got confirmation of second chances. Like a like month is on here. And you, like I said, you need to go back and record, record. I got a lot of green stones up here on my house. To green, like yeah, it's a lot going on on here. <laughs> green, um, a lot, uh, and I see a lot of purple too. That crown chakra, that third eye. Make sure that um, I gotta get, again that you're eating foods and stuff and not indulging in too much, so that you can get these downloads. Not everybody can eat the same shit, or what some people might be saying is bad. Again, we're different species and religions and stuff that we're getting lied to about so don't take everything at face value for you go on what your body needs your body's going to tell you what your body needs okay so all that taboo about you can't eat this you can't eat that blah, 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 blah. okay just don't be closed minded about things Make sure that you're taking herbs and supplements as well and exercising to get toxins out of your body, doing saunas and stuff. Okay, let me get back to this card though. Um, juvenile said it all. Since a young child, you might have been causing havoc or the problem child or the black sheep. Like, even though you ain't do shit, it's like it's your fucking fault type of thing. So set it off, juvenile. Project English, kick ass, come on. You don't know nothing about me. I'm a DC soldier, New Orleans stunner. Bitch, leave me. I'm gonna take everything from her. Eat, eat you while, uh, eat you while you can. I'm gonna find some new. Yeah, buy her a full runner. Walk with a limp, cause my heavy, and I like it from the back. So stay steady, little mama. I love, but I ain't looking. Um, have you a sweet skin? Don't want it. Don't know what you missing. Boss nigga walking. Teenage head busters waiting to give them the word. East, West, Coast, South, Midwest. I love my set. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a highlighted card. So the highlighted parts are by her forerunner. Dickin, don't want it. The word East, West, Coast. Okay, so... You might have just bought a car. You might be about to get gifted a car. Um, you might be dating someone. Or somebody trying to approach you and try to date you that has a nice car or something. But you know that it's some bullshit. So you was like dick and don't want it. Like I said, be celibate. You're turning all that into power. You're not giving people your energy. And you said the word East West Coast, like I keep saying, like you're gonna be known to end to end. Okay, global. South Midwest, I love my set. Okay, so again, it's telling you like just keep keep doing you. Keep keep that momentum going because you about to you about to come on. You might be from the projects like me, from the projects. But you still kicking ass. You still out here got your goals, motherfucking manifesting your goals. Like, it don't stop at the projects. Because you got to go to the East Coast, you got to go to the West Coast, you got to go to the... Because you got to be booked and busy, period. And that's on the motherfucking P. Nigga. Anywho, moving the fucks along. <laughs> Um, next to Big Lotto, Beatbox, I have, um, one, 
95 in the reverse, which would give me 15, which is 6. You're birthing patience. Because this is my, um, the sixth capital sand card, wrath, anger. So patience came up in the upright. It didn't come out the other way. It came out in the reverse. Okay? So you have been being patient with these relationships. You have been being patient with these friendships. You have just been being patient, period. Okay? And you about to set it off. Ain't no more playing games. Ain't no more of that. The the bullshit quarter is over. Okay? So, the pressure is on in the kitchen, sweetheart. Whoever that's for. And even if you don't want to do it, spirit about to fucking push your ass out there. Like, you get pushed in the pool. It's going to be like, boop. And before you know it, you're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like... <laughs> Believe me, you watch. Leave a comment down below when it happens. Okay, then we got five. Change. Aries card in the upright. Cardinal sign. Sacrifice. You got to sacrifice some shit, y'all. Preserve. Courageous. Patience. So you've been preserving. You're courageous. You ain't stopped on your goals just because... Whatever. That's just clarification. Period. We got 541. This card is actually 93, which would be 12, which would go back to a 3. 3 is before the 4. So you went through the chaos phase. You went through the fiery phase. You went through the phoenix phase. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes type of card. That change. Trading in those wings for horns or some shit. I don't fucking know. However you want to resonate with this. You're getting... um, You're getting ranked up to a different level. Like, different levels, new devils type of thing. Like, or... Like, the degrees... First degree, second degree, third degree, to the third, third degree. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're elevating... March 21st to April 20th, if that resonates with anybody. March 21st to April 20th, Ram, Fire, this is the head. Number one, okay? You are number one. We had hella ones come out. It's her Nelly. I am number one, okay? Megan Thee Stallion. I'm the one I tell bitches what to do, okay? Period. <laughs> However y'all want to do it, like, because I, I got masculines and I got feminines too, so it's like, y'all both got y'all like, yup, I'm the one type of attitude <laughs> going on. <laughs> I don't, don't judge me how I just did that, but that, that's the fuck y'all energy is, I don't know, or somebody on here energy that's about to watch this or something, because... Like, honey, like, that fight is so sassy. Like, I just got to, uh, that, bitch, y'all, y'all, <laughs> oh, my life. And I know a couple Aries, too. They be trying to act so cop cool, but, like, they, 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 they be over them and be, like, so hype for no reason. Like, what the hell? Oh. Okay, yes, we are almost done, y'all. I'm so sorry this reading so long. We almost done. Okay, so I got the Rihanna card. I just shot a man down. And I want to cry because I didn't mean to hurt him. You will play the part and I will lose my cool. I thought I'd never do whatever happened um, to me. Somebody going to tell me what I'm going to do. I know that just sounded like a whole slave when I just said that. Um, Y'all might be down south real country or something, or y'all might be, um, y'all hang around like a lot of elder people. It might be an elder man coming to you or an elder person coming to you that's going to help you out with something. You might be in like with healing at home health or something like that. I don't know why I just said that like that. 
I thought I ne- <laughs> it said I thought I never do whatever happened to me. Somebody tell me what I'm gonna do. But the way I just said it a second ago, like what the fuck? So yeah. You're shooting that like where you going at it, right? You can go. I know I can't stress this enough. So it's not just saying man as in like a person that you might be dating. This is man as in mankind. Like I always say when I read the word man in my text. I always take that as mankind. I'll never take it as for an actual man unless we're doing a certain type of reading on a certain type of topic. So I take the information and the text as necessary. But with this, um, with the and the patience card coming out a little bit before that, and then um we got the juvenile card, because this is clarifying the juvenile card with the set it off. Okay. Um Dick and don't want it. I just shot a man down. So you so you ain't into getting fucked by people no more. All that fuck shit is out the window. All that fuck shit is out the window. Like it's a clear window and you throwing all the bullshit out of it. Like, oh, this bullshit go through the window. Like, period. Like, period. That's what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting. Because Project English. You would play the part and I would lose my cool, yeah. Didn't mean to hurt him. So it's like even if you didn't hurt like your spirit guys is about to hurt they fucking feelings. Cause you don't want to hurt them. So but your spirit like I said, your spirit guys is like push. They pushing you and you throwing shit out the window. And you just sitting there, like, your body is moving. Like, you having, like, an outer body experience. Like, what the fuck is going on? But it's like a tower moment. But it's not a tower moment because it's a rebirth. It's a rebirth, like, by you time traveling and so much other shit is going on, too. Plus, the 5D is clashing with the 3D. The 5D is clashing with the 3D. It's a battle. Okay? I don't know. I keep clapping like this. Like, maybe, um, I don't know. Why the fuck am I clapping like that? Um, if that resonated with you for whatever reason, I don't know. But maybe you clapping back at people because maybe, like, you was patient and never, like, you know how, like, you got them people that, like, they take so much before they, like, just lash the fuck out? Yeah. I think that's what the fuck that was. Because you got Karma Lloyd Banks. I am the one you deny, even though every time I try, but I'm alright. Okay, first week of release. Copies. It says, um... Oh, it says perform singer with good friend. Put hands together. <laughs> Yo, I cannot make this shit up. I was just clapping like a motherfucker. I was just says put hands together. So maybe you about to get a round of applause. Like they gonna have to give you your props. Like even your haters gonna have to give you your props. Even the haters like act like they don't wanna buy stuff or network with you and stuff like they're gonna have to because whatever the fuck you about to put out there. It's going to be global. They're going to want to keep up with the trends. You're going to be the trendy motherfucker. They're going to have no choice but to fuck with you. Because the celebrities going to be fucking with you. The fucking actors and all of them motherfuckers. The motherfuckers with money who ain't even in the fucking line might going to be fucking with you. Like, you about to be, hey, okay. I'm ready for that shit. I'm part of the fucking um, collective shit. Shit. Okay, so... <sighs> my bad it says but I'm alright swallow my pride put BS to the side if you're ready to ride I'm down for one night stand oh, except in any way that I can but I ain't your man I'll try whatever it's worth remember who play who first yeah can't keep my eyes off you can tell other guys lost you rarer than a flying saucer 
We are not what the fuck they said. Listen to your body. Rare than a flying saucer. Don't hop on top because I ride with a pistol. If you was mine, I introduce you to mama. I ain't eager. Okay, again, set it off, juvenile. Don't ride on top, I ride with a pistol. So you telling people like, think twice before you underestimate me, pretty much. And remember who played who first. So when that karma come back, and I'm sitting here laughing and clapping with popcorn and all that weird ass shit, and you sitting here gotta spin your fucking bread with me, bitch, don't get fucking mad. When motherfuckers is clapping for me, because I was clapping for others when it was their turn. So, bitch, when it's my turn, y'all better motherfucking be clapping for me, too. Like, you, this is what you're telling people, 206. Eight. Karma. Lloyd Banks featuring Avant. Go, go listen to that song. Baby Girl. K Camp. Blessing. 74. 11. Higher kind of. You ain't got to tell nobody. I know you know. Just want you to know you're a blessing. The way you walk, talk, smile, you got it. Heart telling you to leave. Mind telling you to stay. You don't take shit from nobody. Nobody. No, 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 no. <laughs> Searching for what you can't find. Let me be your side. Um, you'll be proud of me. Do what you want. Just don't lie to me. You a bad chick. I met around the way. You don't got to cry no more. Not perfect, but for you, I go to war. Tell me how you feel. Um, what did it say? What one won't do, another will. Don't think I'm forcing you. Mm. so whatever this is that you're doing or growing into it's gonna be natural it's gonna like it might sometimes feel scary because the unknown is a little bit scary but you know what's about to happen like you know it's gonna happen because you've been wanting shit for so long and it's like manifesting right before your eyes but it's still scary because you know even though you know what the fuck is going on it's still going to be like little bits and parts that you don't know. And it's just telling you to have patience and don't have so much fucking control. Like, stop trying to have everything, like, so under control. The fact, the art of having fun and not having control lets you have so much more control than what you could ever imagine. Versus sitting here trying to control it. If that makes sense. You don't take shit from nobody. No, 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 no. Nobody. <laughs> okay. When people see you, they gonna know that you that bitch. She a bad chick that I met from around the way. They they already know. Since a juvenile. You might even have people that done dated you or come around you like damn, like you you like they give you compliment after compliment after compliment. And you can tell them it's sincere because they give you compliments that your haters would never give you. That's how you know. But yes. Um, I guess tonight we're not using any card. Do we need to clarify? Let's see. Can you clarify this karma Lloyd Banks card for me? Spirit. Clarify the karma Lloyd Banks card. We got two of swords. Balance. Hey, you cutting out that bullshit. Whatever this is going to bring you, you, whatever this is, you fought for it. Battle. Like I said, battle of the, like, you still going to be having to fight when you get there, but it ain't going to be, like, as hard until, like, you start getting to the milestones of that. But, like, spirit going to give you, like, a little bit of break when you first, because they already know you done been through the ringer. You about ready to, like, fucking cry and, <laughs> and fucking give up. So they going to make it a little bit easy here and there. That's why they giving you your blessings and letting you know, like, okay, you are on the right path. You are manifesting certain shit, but they don't want you around certain people, places, and things because they're going to steal it from you. That's why you have to be very um, knowledgeable with your energy and what you're spending your time on and with, okay? Can you hear how this K-Camp card?
Ace of Wands. Blessings, 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 blessings. Hey. Blessings, 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 blessings. Hey. Okay, that's why y'all wanted me to use this. Oh, and look what's under that. Eight of Wands, baby. You manifested that shit. I'm so happy for y'all. <laughs> I'm happy for that shit. Because listen, baby, I can't even say too much on this thing. Because, you know, I be trying to keep my shit on all the way out But I say enough to help y'all, though. But for real, y'all got the Eight of Fucking Wands at the end of the day. Keep fucking up for y'all. Period. Y'all everybody keep fucking manifesting that shit. Keep doing that fucking due diligence. And like I said, I'm real heavy on that being celibate part. I understand it's the holidays, it's Christmas, the fucking New Year shit come up. My fuck is gonna be partying and horny and all that weird ass shit. But listen, right after that, tax season coming up, spring coming up, summer coming up, all of that. You don't want bullshit in your energy and all this nice ass weather, nice ass opportunity about to be coming up. While it's winter, stay focused. So that way, when it's time to play, you can play. Because you done did all your work in the winter, you ain't got to work in the fucking summer. You can take summer off. Or shit, it's all, like you did so much work in the winter, and by the time when summer comes, the shit that you're working on, you're going to be able to get it done faster. And then you're going to be able to be outside and be moving around a little bit more and better. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be so closed in because the weather's going to be better. So, yes.